What's up guys, it's Jeff with iDownloadBlog. I'm going to show you how to install Siri Proxy using an Ubuntu virtual machine. Yes, if you already have Ubuntu you know, set up on a dedicated box, this will work for you, but I'm using Parallels on my Mac just to show you how to do this. So I'm going to walk you through that installation first of all, and then we're going to get to the Siri Proxy. All you need to do first of all is to go to File, and then this is in Parallels by the way, and go to New, and this will show you where you can set up a free Ubuntu machine, a free virtual machine for Ubuntu. And this will allow you to install Siri Proxy on the Ubuntu setup here. So I'm going to go through this setup real quick. You're going to go ahead and set up the Ubuntu Linux installation. It's going to ask you for a password first of all. Um, you just type in a password. I'm just putting in 123456 as my default password. So just don't forget whatever password you're using. Uh, if you already have Ubuntu already set up and installed, you can kind of skip over this portion, but I'm just showing for those of you who don't have this installed at all how to do it with Parallels, and Parallels does have a free trial. Once you have it installed, you want to go to the Ubuntu Software Center, and you want to update your installation. Nine times out of ten, it's going to go ahead and pop it up for you like it did here for 11.10, or you can search for the update. So you want to go ahead and upgrade now. Just go ahead and make sure your installation is up to date with the latest version of Ubuntu and this is going to download and this will take quite a while to go through and download. It's going to ask you for your administrator password again. I'm going to speed things up here in just a second considerably so we can get through this and get on with our Siri proxy installation here. So this will take just probably about a half an hour, maybe 20 minutes, depending on your connection, uh, to download and install all the updates for 11.10 for Ubuntu. And then you want to start the upgrade and it will go through fetching all the files as you can see 17 minutes remaining. I've sped it up. We're just going to skip over all that nonsense and get right down to it here. So not too many minutes remaining here. I've sped this up probably like 20 times over just to get through it for you guys. So if you already have an Ubuntu box, like I was saying, if you have it running on your, your Windows box or you already have a standalone edition, you don't even have to worry about this. This is for those of you who are running Macs and you want to just go ahead and get Siri Proxy running using the Ubuntu Virtual Machine. So it's going to ask you if you want to remove obsolete packages. Yes, you want to go ahead and remove those obsolete packages, clean up some things. And then after that, it's going to ask you to restart your virtual machine instance. So we'll go ahead and click restart now. And it'll shut down and then boot right back up. It shouldn't take long at all. And here we are. So we're going to log in with our password. And we're back now. Now, if you're running a virtual machine like Parallels, I recommend that you create a snapshot. Take a snapshot of your installation right now since you have all the updates. Just in case you mess something up, you can always go back to this point in time when you take a snapshot. So I highly recommend this. This is a fresh, clean install of Ubuntu, and this will allow you to go back to this particular point if you mess up, if you happen to mess up with the Siri proxy installation. You probably won't need it, but it's just good to have it just in case. Now again, this next step applies if you're running a virtual machine. You want to make sure you're in bridged mode. So we're going to go down here in Parallels, a little spider web icon. Click on that, and that should open up your network options here. So let's go ahead and click there right now. Um, there we go. And then you should see Shared Network or Bridge Network. You want to select Bridge Network and select your Wi-Fi adapter. Go ahead and do that. That will allow your outside devices like your iPhone to talk to your virtual machine instance. And then once you do that, you want to make sure your connection is okay. So let's go ahead and disconnect. Just click on wire connection. It'll disconnect and then it should reconnect you. And then you should have a network connection there. Next step you want to do is just check your IP address of your virtual machine instance. So you can go back up there to the network options. And then you want to select connection information. Click on that. And this should show you your IP address of your virtual machine. There it is, 10.0.1.19 in this instance. So just take a mental note of that or write it down if you need to do that. You can always come back here and check that out later, but you're going to need that in a couple of places during this Siri proxy installation. The next step is more of an optional step, but it makes things a little easier for me, so I personally like to do this, is installing Dropbox. And this allows you to uh, quickly get the certificate that we're going to create a little later onto your iPhone without having to email it to yourself or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and search for Dropbox in the Ubuntu Software Center here, and it should find that. And then we can just select it and then install. And this will install Dropbox after you put your password in. And that way you can just go ahead and drag and drop your certificate that we're going to create a little later. And that way you can get it on your iPhone quickly and easily. It just makes it a lot less, you know, less complex. You don't have to worry about email or anything like that. So go ahead and set up your Dropbox account. Plus it's just good to have a Dropbox account anyway. 
Uh, like I said, this step isn't totally necessary, but it's just something that I, I recommend you do. So once you have that set up, just go ahead with the typical setup, and then you can skip the tour and all that, and you know, et cetera. All right, so you need to put your password in so that Dropbox can start syncing. And once you've done that, you can just go ahead and close out of Dropbox here. So that takes care of all the preliminary setup, getting ready for Siri proxy. Now it's really time to get down to the nitty gritty. You wanna open up your terminal, and this is where you're going to be living for the next few minutes because you're going to enter in a lot of different terminal commands. Now, all these commands you're going to be able to find on the article on iDownload blog. For instance, this first command here that you're going to need to paste in, you'll find it on iDownload blog or you'll find it in the description of the video. So go ahead and start by pasting that first command and you'll see this output right here. You want to select yes on this output. And this will take just a second to go through all these steps here. Don't really worry about what all of it does. I mean, some of you may know what all of this does, but just all you need to do is just enter it, copy it, and paste it into the terminal window. So we're going to paste in our next command here. This is command number two, sudo nano. This will allow you to edit this particular file. Now, you need to edit this file. You need to go down about 62 lines here in this particular file. And once you go down these 62 lines, you're going to type something in. You're going to look for double click. So let's find double click. There is double click right there. So you want to create some space here. And then we're going to type in address. We're going to type almost the exact same thing in, except it's going to be a little different here. Address equals slash. And you're going to type in gazoni.apple.com slash. And then the IP. Oops, looks like I made a little typo here on address. Let's go back over. Type the D there. Let's go back over here. And now you want to type the IP address of the virtual machine. Do you remember what that was? Well, let's go over and let's check it again here, just in case you forgot here. So let's go up to our network information, connection information, and there is our connection info. Let's pull that menu up a little bit so we can see our IP address. There it is, 10.0.1.19. So that's what we need to type in to the address uh, section of this particular file. Now, yours is going to be different, so just make sure you note what your specific IP address is. It's not going to be this. It may be, but it's doubtful. So next you want to save this file so hold control and press o on your keyboard and then hold control and press x to exit and that'll exit out all right so next step we want to paste this next command in and here we go this is command number three and it is the dns mask command it restarts dns mask so there we go all right that's complete so the next step this is command number four so let's zoom out and then we'll paste to command number four in all right, just paste that and then hit return on your keyboard and that should run this command. This won't take too long either. So I'll just take a few seconds, just wait until it finishes loading. And there you go, back at your prompt. Now for our next command, this is command number five. Yes, we have a lot of them, but it's not too bad, is it? Not too bad at all. So let's go ahead and paste in command number five here. There it is. And then just hit enter. And that one's really quick. So our next command, what's the next command up for bid? Let's go ahead and paste in the next one. This is number six and just hit enter. And this also is very fast. Now this next step takes quite a while. It is installing the Ruby version manager and it, it will take a while. I've sped it up significantly so it's gonna seem like it's not that long on my screen but when you install the Ruby version manager, it will take you quite a while. Also, it takes a long time on the compiling portion of the installation right here. So this is where it takes the most time. So just hold your horses, be patient and you'll get through this in probably you know five, 10 minutes. It doesn't take that long but it, it's pretty long. Probably one of the longest parts of the entire install by far. All right, so it's almost done. There we go. And our next step is to set version 1.9.3 to the default version. So just paste that command in and then hit enter and that'll do that. That's a pretty quick, brief command there. Our next command is, let's see what we have here. Okay, let's right click and paste. It is getting the Siri proxy from GitHub. So. Go ahead and paste that in and then hit enter and that'll do that. And that's quick as well. All right, so our next step, let's see what we got here. All right, here we go. And we'll paste that in. It is to change to the Siri proxy directory and you wanna go ahead and select yes here. So just put a Y in for yes and then enter and that will change to the Siri proxy directory. 
All right, our next command, go ahead and paste it in, is our rake install. So just type rake space install or paste it, copy and paste it from our documentation on iDownload blog or in the description of the video. And then enter. And that's quick. All right, our next command is to make the following directory. It is a hidden directory, a Siri proxy under our home folder. There you go. That's all you have to do. It's super easy. And our next command is just to copy over the example configuration file over into our hidden directory. So let's just go ahead and do that. Now we're rolling, aren't we? All right. And our next command is to go ahead and generate our certificates. So once those certificates are generated, you can technically go ahead and add them on to your iPhone. But we're not going to get there just yet. We have just a couple of more commands to enter here on our terminal window and then we'll get to the more exciting portion of this Siri proxy installation. So let's go ahead and right click and paste this next command in Siri proxy bundle and press enter and there you go that should be done here momentarily and it'll be just a few more seconds and we should be complete. There we go your bundle is complete alright next command is the real deal here is where you start your server folks this is what we've been waiting for. So let's go ahead and press enter and there it is. It's beautiful starting Siri proxy on port 443. So the Siri proxy server is now running and it's waiting on input from Siri itself. And now we're going to take that certificate that we generated on command 15 and put it on our iPhone using Dropbox. So let's open up our home folder here and then you should see the view menu. Select view and then show hidden files. We need to show that hidden Siri proxy uh, folder here there it is with the dot in front of it just go ahead and open that up you should see the ca.pem file we're going to take that we're going to copy it and place it on Dropbox so let's go ahead and open up our Dropbox folder here and let's just slide it down some and let's right click on the ca.pem pem file and then copy that file and now we'll just paste it in our Dropbox folder and it's syncing there it is so guess what now we're ready to install the certificate on our iPhone 4s we're ready to get Siri talking with our Siri proxy server. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's open up Dropbox on our iPhone 4S. You should see the ca.pem file. Just open that. You want to go ahead and tap this little link icon. I'm going to copy the link to our clipboard. Just do that. And now we'll open up Safari. We're going to paste that link in Safari. Just hit go. And it's going to open up the certificate where you can install the profile. Just go ahead and tap on install. It'll ask you for your, uh, your, you know, your passcode if you have one set up, just like that. And once it's installed, it'll install that. Now we need to go over to our Wi-Fi connection, hit our little blue arrow, and for the DNS server, we want to change that to the IP address of our virtual machine, the one we noted earlier, the 10.0.1.19. It's going to be different for you, more than likely, but just remember that particular IP address, and we're going to type that in the DNS field, just like that. So now what you want to do is go back and enable airplane mode and then disable it just to reestablish our Wi-Fi connection, make sure everything's set correctly. And now let's test out Siri. Here he goes. Test Siri proxy. Siri proxy is up and running. Outstanding. So you can see right here on the screen, you'll see your, your terminal window showing all the speech that you that you submitted to the Siri proxy server and you'll see what it returned as well. So that is how you set up Siri proxy. I know it was a lot of commands, folks. I know it was a lot of steps, but it was worth it, wasn't it? Let me know what you think in the comment section below, folks. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.